Hey YouTube, Parson Rick here. I got a little bit more time at work, so I wanted to do a VR to Tennessee Bull. He's also got a, a hundred sub uh, giveaway going on. And uh, Bull, I just want to tell you, I really enjoy your channel. Uh, listening to you talk, I can hear my cousins, you know, and my uh, uh, my folks. The uh, I enjoy your channel. I, I, I like your presentation. Um, you need to do more videos, by the way. So, don't enter me in your in your giveaway. I got more than enough stuff, and and we've got a co-op here. Uh, actually, belong to one. So, uh, don't need the hat. You you asked a very difficult question. You asked uh, excluding wife and children. Who are the most and God? Who are the most important? people to me uh, on this earth and, and and if you try to boil it down to one person I, I just can't do it you know I still have a mother and a brother uh, left on this mortal sphere and and they're precious to me uh, but you, you said mentor and co-worker and you know, I haven't had a mentor since my father passed away uh, late in the previous century. It's been a long time, and I haven't, I haven't had work mentors, or you know, I've been on my own most of my life. Uh, I had a couple mentors when I was in the service, and that was you know, thirty years ago. It's hard to say. I've had pastors, and some of them have added things to my life, and some of them have taken things away from me. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, I, it doesn't sound good to say this, but I'm kind of tired of folks. Um, I was a minister for years, and for years putting other people's needs in front of the needs of myself and my family uh, just burned me out uh, those of anybody watching who happens to be a young minister beware beware of, of uh, sacrificing your family on the altar of service I guess um, gave a this isn't the direction I had planned for this video It's really hard to try to be everything to everybody and and now <laughs> I've really scaled back my involvement in other lives excluding my family uh, my children are my greatest friends there's nobody as close to me as my children there's nobody that uh, understands me. <laughs> my wife doesn't even understand me as well as my kids do. Uh, but most of my friends are at arm's length. You know, maybe that's protecting myself or whatever. Uh, a long time ago, I, I heard something that for the last several years I've tried to apply this. And and that is to make whoever you're with the most important person in the room. Uh, you know, I have a few people. I much prefer a one-on-one -on -one conversation than a three-way three, <laughs> three -way conversation or a room full. I, and I can speak. I've spoken before hundreds and hundreds of people, and I don't have a problem with doing that. But a... Uh, one to one tete a tete is uh, uh, that's what I live for. Just just sitting and talking with somebody. I had a conversation the other day with one of my old pastors, and we were friends before we started our church, and and he's still there, and I'm not, and we hadn't seen each other in uh, three or four years, and he called and wanted to get together, and we did, and it was just awesome because it was like 
before before we had so many responsibilities uh, thrust on us uh, and we were just friends again and didn't need anything from e either one of us and it was an hour and a half of just pure joy sitting there and, and talking to my old friend and boy if, if the person that you're with can be your focus it digs up a richness in that moment that is incredibly hard to replace and you can never duplicate it uh, that moment is in and of itself a pure moment so I'm sorry I rambled way too long uh, I'm not even interested in what I'm saying <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate your channel I uh, really appreciate appreciate your your spirit and uh, that was a dang good question it, it has given me quite a bit to think about so well god bless you parson rick out